Hello boys and welcome to another Arc Base Locations video. I found 5 new base locations or ratos that I think you might like on the island, so let's just get into the video. Rato number 1, well this, there are various ratos or where I am showing you guys, so 3741 on the volcano area, you see, right below here to this north zone, Tyson. so you have locations or ratos like this, so for a starter or on an official or maybe even small tribes it should be good. You see it's very hidden, people will notice it. And if you come a little higher, you just just a little tiny bit here, I've actually built to show you guys. This one is the best one. So you wouldn't see it flying by or something like that. And then you come here, I actually built it to you. You could probably put a storage box there and hide some wood, but it's right here. You come up and you actually have space for all this. So this one is the best one in my opinion, it's very big and it's very hidden, you can easily start up here, so the coordinates of this one exactly are 38, 41, and the other one is just below it right here, yeah let's go to the spot number 2. So number 2, locations are 19, 31, it's right here on these ice spikes, you should be able to see like, it, it's very noticeable, the ice spikes. But yeah, this is only for maybe stashing loot or a solo starting on an official, but I found it quite interesting. You can fit like a stone foundation and put some ceilings, you see, right here. And you can put forges, smithy, hide some wood on the first night of the wipe or something like that. And no one will see it, it's just here. You can build it better than I built it, I only put a triangle foundation and two ceilings. But this is not really noticeable you see but yeah to find this you need to come to these coordinates 20 31 just blow the blue wall right there and see these ice spikes and you should be good okay so this next base location or chateau i guess it's a cave then but yeah coordinates are 52 91 that's the green orb this is the swamp area and you just come down here it's a pearl cave Okay, yeah, it's a pearl cave, the entrance is... Well, I am in the entrance already. So it's right here, this is the entrance. You will see like this stone formation, you will surely see it's a pearl cave. It's very distinguishable, and then you come right here. I chose this spot because the, the entrance is modified now. Now, a stego won't fit here. You see, neither a rock column, so well built. This is the best pearl cave, easily. So you come right here and just go by and go by and it's here it's not really it's kind of narrow but you can probably fit an indie forge let me see you can probably fit an indie forge yeah you can fit an indie forge you see it's not that spacey but you can fit an indie forge you could probably breed some stuff if you're like max a four man you should be good here three man and yeah i chose this spot because the address is very narrow you should be able to defend this pretty easily cards again 52.91 let's go to the next one okay so the next base location this is not at all this is base location green orb just right you see, i'm gonna take you to the green orb green orb you, you look to the side that has that mountain you come to the mountain, it's just right here on this entrance. The coordinates are 5471. And you go through here, where is it? it is, it's just very hard to find it, I usually go through the sides. Which is easier, yeah, right here. Yeah, right here, you see? So, this side of the cave, the, of the mountain, you just go down and you will find these sort of structures, like no structures, but here you can probably find a lot of rattles. I chose this whole location, not just a precise spot, but you can hide stuff or even start solo anywhere here. You see, this is quite hidden. You can build it better than I did, but this is very long. There are other types like this, and you could probably. 
find glitches here as well to the mesh and stuff. Another one is here. This is uh, a cool vocation to start. You have metal and crystal, and I think this is actually good to start as a solo. To man, just find the door and slash, slash your stuff there and just start from that. It has an easy access to a knob, to wood, to whatever you want. And yeah, I found this pretty cool. I haven't seen it in any video, so hopefully you guys use it. So cards again, 5372 to this entrance and to the mountain itself, 5571. So yeah, let's go to the next spot. Okay, so the next base spot, this is not a Rato, it's a base location. Coordinates are 3136, it's near the ice and it's just this waterfall. It's behind the waterfall as you probably have guessed now and this is not a place to set permanently but to start off this is pretty hidden pretty good you can sort a lot of stuff you can build it differently than i did but this would be my main way to build it right below here you have a space to stash wood like you can put a storage box here pretty sure i'm gonna just show it to you now you see you can just hide stuff Yeah, you can hide stuff there and you should be fine for the first night. This actually has pearls at least right behind there. You have pearls and it's near the Death Mountain and the Volcano Mountain, so easy metal, crystal, obsidian, whatever. And it's hidden, it should last you a little bit just to start off and move to where you want to move and set permanently. So yeah, these were all the base spots, hope you enjoyed the video.